Wow. Good day, everyone. It's your favorite tutor, your favorite tutor on what? Physics. And right here, we are going to be discussing about these three concepts work, energy, and what? Power. Work. Work done. Work done, it is the word, the product of what? Force and displacement in the direction of the word force. What is said to be well done whenever a force moves its point of what application, a distance in the direction of the word force. In other words, if we apply force and there is no distance, it means that there is no word work done. If there is force and there is distance or displacement, it means that there is what work done. Examples of what work done. That is um, the movement of what electron from one orbitals to another, or a boy climbing a what a staircase. So there is what force and also distance. Now examples of no of no work done. No work done. Examples of no work done. So we are going to talk talking about. Let's say a boy pushing a what a fence, a stationary fence or a tree. There is what force, but no what distance. So there is no work done. Another example is a man carrying a what a cement, and the man remains stationary. There is force and no work done, no distance or displacement, so there is no work done. All right, so this is the word, the formula for what? Work done, force times what? Distance, but if it involves gravity, if it involves gravity, the formula will do what? Change to what? MGH. MGH. Now, we all know that this mg, this mg represents what? Weight. The mg represents what? Weight, which is mass times what? Acceleration due to what? Gravity. Which is the same thing as what? We take the part of what? Force. Because weight is a word, a force. And also height. Height, this h represents what? Height, which is going to take the part of what? Displacement. So, in other words, it is what they are what the same. All right, let us move further. But if it involves, if it involves an angle inclined to the word horizontal, an angle inclined to the horizontal, an angle inclined to the horizontal, the formula will change. But remain the same is going to be what force cos what theta times what displacement. Work done becomes what the force cos theta, which is the what the angle multiplied by the word displacement. All these formulas are the same, but what happens here is that we need to consider the words or the, the concept of the word work. All right, let us move further. While all this, we all need to also consider some certain things. The force displacement word graph. That is another thing we also need to consider. The force displacement word graph. So this is the word, the force displacement graph. Is therefore force against what displacement? Force against displacement. Now, when we plot the graph force against displacement for something like this, the work done takes the word the shape of the word the graph that has been word plot. The work with the work done is equal to the word the shape being formed in the word graph so therefore the work done right here the work done right here for this is equal to what length times what breadth 
because this is what a rectangle all right for another one let's say something like this say something like this okay something like this that is what curve something curved like this something curved like this it's like an arc of a word a circle so therefore the work done is going to be equals to this word the shape that is the area of the word the shape now this is what one quarter of a word circle so therefore the work done for this is equals to what one over four and the area of a circle is what pi radius what square so whenever we are using what force displacement word graph the work done it is the word the shape of the word the shape form in the word graph whatever shape it is it is the work done becomes what the area of the shape formed in the word graph all right let's take some questions all right we have a question on the board now it says a boy of mass 50 watts kg runs up a set of steps of total height 3.0 meter finds the work done against what gravity all right let us bring that the parameters out to start with a boy of mass 50 watts kg runs up a set of steps of total of total heights so the height is equals to what 3.0 watts, watts meter find the word work done so we are looking for what work done against what gravity a boy runs through a what step some uh, set of what steps now work work done it is the word the product of what force times what displacement but right here what we have here we use the parameters we have to look for what the work done since it involves what gravity we use this formula the mg word h mass times acceleration due to gravity times what the height so therefore the work done becomes what mg what h which is equal to the mass is what 50 kg times what g acceleration due to gravity is also stated in the question 10 meter per second square 10 times what the height the height is what three meters so therefore the work done is equals to 50 times 10 is what 500 times 3 is what 1500 and the unit of what work done is what joules you can see that this to solve for work done is very what simple all right i'm going to stop here please stay tuned subscribe to the channel and then keep being in touch and get notification of all of all incoming videos so in my next class we'll discuss more about what work done and we'll see if we can move up to what energy and i will solve a lot of questions on what work done stay tuned and god bless you